Okay, this is the last part of the setup. We're currently working our way through the lab setup of the for the Microsoft Official Academic Course Lab Manual, installing and configuring Windows 10 in preparation for exam 70-698. So during the last video, we concluded during the installation process of the LON CL3 and LON CL4. LON CL3 has been completely installed, and now we're getting ready to prepare it by getting it connected to the network. and assigning the IP address. Like the other, um, like CL1 and CL2, the login name was admin, the password was our standard password. So here's CL3. The first thing I want to do is go into our network and sharing center. So right click our adapter. Ethernet, Network and Sharing Center, and then Change Adapter Settings, left click, right click, Properties. Left click on the IPv4, click on OK. Oops. Properties. IPv4, properties. I change to use the following IP address 172.16.042. Tab, we're going to let that default. Be 172, 160, and then 10. Pointing it back to our domain controller. Click on OK and then close. Close, close, close. Now, if you don't already have your domain controller up and running, you will need to go ahead and turn that on. before we do the next step. Because you can't you can't connect to a domain that's shut off. Well I wait for that to boot up, I'm gonna go into the right window here. So I want to do a search. Work. Group. No, I don't want my results. Nope. All right, let's do it this way. Right click on the icon. OK. 
Okay, so I made it a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. I'm going to go on the system. Type in work group. Change work group name. And then change. And this is going to be L O N dash CL3. Now, before we can do domain, let's minimize this and go to our domain controller. I'm going to log in as a data administrator. Password. Right click, cancel. Okay, right click, and go into Task Manager. Now, I'm not sure why it is I have to do it on my virtual machines, but it seems to resolve the issue of not being able to connect the virtual machines together. Details. I'm sorry. Services. Sort by name. Go down to FTP host. Right click start. FT res pub. Right click start. Close. We can minimize this. Now we can go back to our other machine and then go ahead and connect to that domain. ADATUM.com and then OK. And then Administrator and password. That's going to tell us we have to restart. Close, restart later, 
Now I'm just going to shut this machine down because I don't need it for right now. And with so many virtual machines running on my computer, I'm a little concerned about how slow it's going to go. All right, now let's take a look at the next one, the CL4, and it is currently getting ready. So I'll go ahead and pause the video until this is ready to get logged in. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and continue finishing up with CL4. Um, who's going to use this PC is going to be admin, just like the others. And next, we'll use our standard password. Next, and confirm it, and then next. And no. And then accept. Normally I'd go through that with a fine tooth comb, but these are on a virtual machine, so it really doesn't matter. And I'll go ahead and pause while we wait for this to come up to the next step. <clears throat> Okay, now we're going to go ahead and right click. Oh, no, I'm going to try this a different way. I'm going to try clicking on here. So it's got to be an easier way. I've never been a fan of Windows 10, to be honest, and I know this is going on YouTube. I much prefer 8.1. Actually, I prefer Windows 7. back the other way. Right click. And Windows 10 Enterprise is, is a lot different than the Windows 10. Um, there's an education and a Windows 10 professional. You're going to see a lot of differences between them as far as go doing these particular steps. Okay, let's go ahead and assign this one to 172.16043 tab. And this is going to be the domain controller 172.16.0 and 10. And OK, and close. Close, close. Change work group name. Change LON CL4 domain and datum.com and then OK. Administrator and password. Okay, now we'll go ahead and do OK. And again, we're just instead of restarting, we're going to go ahead and turn this off and go to the next piece. Restart later, right click, and shut down.
All right, there's another section on adding yet another machine. I'm not going to do that at this time. It's a little confusing because it says to install on CL5 and yet it refers back to CL1, so I'm not going to do that right now. And then the final section on the setup has to do with going up, going in and adjusting firewalls. Again, I'm going to do that during the individual labs if we need to do it. Talks about turning off the Windows firewall, turn off, I assume this is off, i.e. enhance security configuration and turn off user account control. So we may need to do that during the individual labs and that's what we'll do. But for right now I'm going to end the video in this setup um, at that CL4. So the next video in this series is going to start on lab one which is preparing for installation requirements and that's going to go into creating a USB drive so we'll get into that when we get to it so I will see you on the next video